Today's video starts on page 16 in your packet. So this is video 9. Starting on page 16 in your packet. The length of a rectangle is 5 times its width. The perimeter is 60 centimeters. Find its area. I would like you to do this problem of the day question on your own. Give it your best shot. Bar model this. So draw a model. Give it your best shot. Try it. And we'll go over this in class tomorrow. So on to page 17. Additive and multiplicative comparison models. Here's an example. Don's age problem. Farid is three years younger than Erica. So you're going to draw his bar a little bit shorter than Erica's and add that little extra three years on. Don is three times as old as Erica. So take Erica and replicate it three times. So one, two, three. So he's three times her. How old is Don? So how old is Don? There's your question mark. Rearrange the models to make the comparison of Erica and Farid's total age with Don's age. So Erica, single bar, plus her three. So this part's Erica, and this part is Farid. If you add them together, um, it says uh, Erica and Farid's total age is 15, right? So their difference is 15 years less than Don, sorry, 15 years less. So this part here where Don is 15 more than them, so here's the equivalent, as you can see, a farad, a farad, and three years for Erica, a farad, a farad, and three years. So you can see that Don is 15 years older. So the unit bar is 15 Take away the 6 that we already know gives us that bar would be equal to 9. So Don, if I add this together, 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus another 9, right? 3 and then the 6. 4 times 9 is 36. Or 3 times 9 plus 9 more, you get 36 years old. Comparison models involving fractions, ratio, and percent. The sentence, Jack has twice as much money as Katie, could be expressed in other ways. They could say, Katie is half as much as Jack, a fraction. The amounts of money of Jack and Katie are in the ratio, Katie has twice as much, of 2 to 1. There's a ratio. Katie has 50% of Jack. There's a percent. In this section, we're going to draw comparison models for word problems involving fractions, ratio, and percent. First example here. At a fair, there were half as many men as women. So men is one bar, women is two. The number of adults, men and women, was a third of that of children. So children are three times the total of the adults, which is one, two, three bars. You can see there, so one, two, three, one, two, three. So three times the men plus the two for women, men plus two for women, men plus two for women. Altogether, there were 3,600 people at the fair. How many children, see the question mark here, how many children were at the fair? So there are a total in our picture of 12 bars. One unit would be 3,600 divided by 12, which is 300. So the children represent nine of them. Nine times 300 would be 2,700 children. There were 2,700 children at the fair. The next example, onions and carrots. Three-fourths of the sales from onions is as much as, so... Four, we're going to draw a bar and divide it into four sections and have three of them. This part is not here. It's really not there because we're only representing three-fourths. Is the same as three-fifths. So now you're going to draw a bar, cut it into fifths, and two of them, as you can see here, are not part of it. The sale from carrots is... 250 more, so if you compare them, 
I'm sorry, 240 more than the sale from onions. Find the total sales from the onions and carrots. And this got cut off, so that's the question. How many are there total sales? Well, we can tell that it's only different by one unit. So that one unit has to be the 240. There are a total of nine units in the picture. That's the total that we want. Nine units in the picture. So the total sales is 2,160. Next page. The Lee brothers problem. There are three boys in the Lee family. The ratio of the eldest boy's age to the youngest. So eldest boy here has four bars to the youngest is four to one. The ratio of the middle boy's age to that of the youngest is two to one. So he has two bars. The eldest boy is four years older than the middle boy. So only this part represents those four years. How old is the youngest boy? So you got to put the question mark here. Well, if two of those units, two bars, represent four, one of them would represent two. So, and that is the youngest boy, so he's two. He's two years old. Pretty easy. The ratio of the number of red pebbles to the number of blue pebbles to the number of green pebbles in a container is ratio. So ratio order counts. So red is the two, as you can see here, right? I'm going to write red, but it's already written there. Blue is three, and green is five. So they are in the ratio of two, order counts, two to three to five. That's the ratio, and you can see the bars are drawn there. How many red pebbles are there? Here's the question mark. All together in this picture, there are ten bars. So if I take my 80 and divide it by 10, I get one of them is 8. Uh, so two of them would be 16. There are 16 red pebbles. So some practice that I'm going to guide you through. The price of a sandwich is 50 cents more than the price of a drink. So a drink, I'm just going to represent as a box. Here's my drink. Got to label everything. The drink plus the sandwich, uh, so this part here is that 50 cents. The price of a pizza is twice the price of a drink. So if we draw two of these bars that represent the drink, that's the pizza. Two drinks. Two pizzas cost $1.90 more than a drink and a sandwich. Find the price of a drink. Two pizzas cost $1.90 more than a drink and a sandwich. So two pizzas would be four of those bars, right? So this is two pizzas. I'm going to call it two peas. And a drink and a sandwich, so a drink, a drink, plus that sandwich member is 50 cents more, so it's got the 50 cent piece in it. And we know two pizzas cost $1.90 more than a drink and a sandwich. So this part here over, that's a, all the way over is a, uh, too thick, that is too thick, $1.90 more from here over. So this represents a dollar ninety more. And this is fifty cents here. So that one ninety plus the fifty from here over would be two forty. Two boxes then would have to represent that two forty. Two units represents that 240, right? Two units, one, two, represents that 240. So one unit, 240 divided by two, would give me a dollar 20. And that one unit or one bar or one box, sometimes I say unit, sometimes I say bar, sometimes I say box, should be consistent, is a dollar 20. So a drink is a dollar 20.
That's the answer to the problem. A drink costs a dollar twenty. The ratio of the price of a computer to that of a printer is four to one. So the computer this is the computer to the printer. This is the printer is a four to one ratio. The printer costs four hundred and fifty dollars less than the computer. Or another way you could look at it is the computer is $450 more. Find the price of the printer. So here's my question mark. Oh, I don't think I put a question mark up in this, sun, in this problem, by the way. The drink. Find the price of the drink. That's what we had to find. Find the price of the printer. Well, three units represent... $450. So one of them would be 450 divided by 3, which equals $150. And that happens to be the printer. The printer costs $150. I didn't sable the first one. I just didn't have room. I did read the I did say the sentence, though, that the price of a drink is $1.20. Here's the answer. Number three. The number of tourists who visited town this year is 75% of last year. 75%. Ooh, 75%. I know that that's 75 over 100, which reduces to the fraction 3 fourths. Okay, so I'm going to use 3 fourths. This year, I'm going to make a bar, four pieces, right, three-fourths. Um, so this year, compared to that of last year, so last year would be all of them. So if I drew this, this, is, this would be dotted, really. We should probably erase that if you did it in pencil, and this should be dotted because it's really not there. So this year compared to last year, this is last year. The number of tourists who visited a town this year is 75% of that of last year. There were 120,000 tourists last year. So last year... This represents 120,000. How many tourists visited the town this year? So I want to know this. There's my question mark. That's what I want to know. How many were just this year? So if I take my 120,000 represents four units. If I take that 120,000 and divide it by four, I'm going to get that one of them would be 30,000. And this year, there were three of those units times that 30,000. So that would equal 90,000. How many tourists this year? There were, and I'm going to sable it, just barely fit it in here. There were 90,000 tourists this year. And that's it for today's video.